Hello, welcome to the White Filled Vinyl end of year list for uh, 2019. Uh, last year we did, uh, well, I did because it was entirely my fault, a list compiling 90 releases or something like that. I um, didn't have the time and most importantly didn't have the intention of doing that this year. So um, I made a small list of, because I, I only pick records for uh, music that I have on vinyl or on a yeah, vinyl or on tape or whatever. <clears throat> so um, I didn't check the digital uh, too much because I only just recently got Spotify and I still use Bandcamp, so it's kind of hard to track down uh, since I don't use iTunes anymore. So that's gone. It's just pure analog worship. Um, so there is a small list of the things that didn't make it yet that are still in transit or, um, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I'll rattle through those first, that are, those are about six, then we'll do EPs and demos and then we'll go straight into the full length. So short video, comprehensible video, uh, comprehensible list so you don't have to you know, do homework. Um, not on vinyl, not on a physical release yet. Let's drink first. Cheers. It is the new year, it is a new decennium, so let's hope it's a slightly better one. Although. No complaints from me. Here we go. Titan Bloods, The Baneful Choir, uh, a record that is probably, should be probably high, high up in my end of year album list, but it's just not here yet. Uh, then The Birth, uh, Cold Autumn Shadows, they played their first gig this year. They have a new EP. I heard it digital, but uh, I haven't heard it on vinyl. It should be in the EP uh, list. They all, so I'm not going to say that anymore. Quadrus, Under the Toren, um, their second full length, I think. I'm not sure if it's full length or an EP. And the Urhaus uh, Lugubrum split. Both not in my grabby little mitts. Uh, then the Natatale, the entire batch. Um, it is coming in, but it's not here. So I think some of those records, because I don't, I have not heard any of it, I think some of those records will be big hitters. The scroll, scroll with a V uh, tape that was before the badge uh, should be in here, the FBFM tape, uh, which is also very good. Then the Eret Omen uh, 11 tape that came out, a demo on uh, God of War X, uh, is still not here. And then Mystic, the Swedish all-female power metal speed metal band, which I talked about, um, is also not here. Uh, I have it in a trade tape, so that's coming. And then last but not least is the, and I talked about this in two separate videos, so it should have a spot on the list, but it's just not, there are no physical copies left. That is the Valak Leaning Towards Bitter Mystery, Misery, I'm sorry, uh, on tape and vinyl, but sadly all, all sold out. Um, let's do the runner-ups first uh, for the full lengths, then go into the EPs and then go to the full lengths. This is actually my runner-up list with some amendments. Um, the Daishi is in here, the, uh, the, LP, the LP. Some of these came in just a bit too late to make it really into the most listened list. Because I have a box reserved for records that come in, and when I keep listening to it, they stay there, and otherwise they go into the collection. So these were in there, but maybe not long enough. Daishi, the Hagzisa, uh, they wrote on, they wrote along, I'm sorry. Uh, then we have Tomb Old, which is behind me uh, with her fantastic new album. Voltana, uh, Lopan, which is a record I listened to dead. Um, it's called Subtle. Stone Rock, um, a bit chaos and uh, chaos, a bit chaos influenced. Very, very good. Very hook. Um, a lot of hooks, a lot of catchy melodies. Um, then we have Burning Apparition of the Master on Skills, the demo that was also on first homage. Uh, Phytum, the Astrological Warfare, a fuzzed out 70s satanic worship. Not Rise Above, a bit more because this was on Ajna Offensive and another label, Blanking. Very, very good records. Uh, then we have the War Moon Lord, which should have been high up there, but it, for some reason I didn't listen to it repeatedly. Uh, same for the Varyov, which is not behind me, but it's also there. Burning Banners of the Funeral Altar, no, of the Funeral War, I'm sorry. Uh, Kvalgeist with um, Alkahest, this one. Um, the um, 
Helvetic Underground Committee. That circle had a killer year. Um, yeah, good releases. Then Dartron, I didn't feature it, but All Star, I love that record. Fari Off, Ravensang is also nothing here. Then Ringari with Under Pale Moon, a very, very beautiful record. Beautiful in that black metal sense. Uh, Vanum, which I just played, their last one, really, really great. Uh, Molasses, new band from uh, um, the uh, Devil's Blood, um, the singer for Devil's Blood, her new band or her new project. I hope they do something more with it, but not sure. Then Blood and Bot, uh, one of the Corpsons, not the Tale stable bands, one of the first. Uh, Gabestock, another one, I talked about it recently. Um, Devil Master, that kind of trashy punk synth horror themed stuff. And then the Lab of Moor Mirror, the uh, two demos that came out on vinyl. Uh, I think I have them all then. Yeah, probably. That's runner ups. Um, as far as EPs go, I, uh, I cheated a little bit. What else did you expect? It? Um, you'll see how I managed to, uh, to do it in the end. But, uh, here we go. The first one is Ulcerot with Nekuratu, one that came in recently but is um, on constant repeat. Uh, under, under gang people and Pissgrave people on uh, extremely rotten productions. Uh, yeah, very good tape. It is repressed, re-released with new artwork. Banger, so check it out. Um, second one is the Lampier Demo 3 on Perverse Homage. Um, I don't think I ever done a um, end of year list without a bit of lamp here in there. I'm waiting on the vinyl version for this one. And I'm going to clean out the collection so maybe this tape is going to go when the vinyl comes in on perverse homage. The vinyl of course is on Livo Mortis. Then Ossuary, and these are a bit in order but not really. Ossuary with Supreme Degradation, um, yeah, another really good death metal demo from uh, people from Jax Tolt, I think. I think, I think, I think I said I think the last time, but I'm still not sure. Ossuary on uh, Darkness Shall Rise Productions, really nasty cover. Cool, old school looking tape. Yeah, uh, just rotten, but really well played death metal. Um, Whites tip me to these guys unknowingly, but really good shit. Then, I don't know if this is an EP or a full length, maybe it's a full length, I'm not sure, but since it's a cute little tape, The Realm That Brings Forth Death from Blood Tyrant. Um, been enjoying this for a while now. I think it came out half a year on Skigerai Productions. A really good looking tape. This also came out on Tour de Garde, I think. Uh, yeah from the Dutch Horde that brings forth death. Really big J cards. Some of the best pictures they ever took. I think the inside is black. Yes, uh, um, maybe not their strongest material to date, I'm not sure. I have to compare it again to their last full length, but um, nonetheless, some really good new Blood Tyrant tracks. And I'm always looking forward to what these guys will be putting out. Um, there seems to be some stuff in the works, so yeah, lots of hands. Then, into the top, one, two, three, four, six, I guess. Uh, Vile Gash with Agonized Corrosion, uh, one of the last releases on Youth Attack. Vile Gash, uh, chaotic, burly hardcore, on the very chaotic side. Um, yeah, this is some raw as shit hardcore. I think I can still call it hardcore or punk, whatever. So there's that. Then there is the. I talked about this in the last um, in the last tape delay, but these two tapes are on constant repeat, so I had to have them in my demo or EP list. The uh, ceremonial incantations with Oleg del, del Daimonia, and then the agonized in Belial's land from Bafomancia. Two demos that came out of the. Um, Underground, South American, black metal inspired goodness. Um, yeah, just raw but well played. This one goes uh, a bit in the, in the chaotic and the drunk, fucked up singing uh, side with the entire demo played backwards. This is a bit may maybe a bit more straightforward. Uh, sent intro, black metal, 
uh, mid piece and then an outro, but um, yeah, a bit sloppy play, but very, very, very good songs. So yeah, these two, these two, very good. I always have to drop at least one record in each video. Why does it have to be this one? It's okay. Whew. So yeah, another heart attack in 2019, but it's okay. Why it could not be this one is Forbidden Temple, A Tempest Through the Graves. Uh, one of the projects that it have to be, I had to have some Belgium uh, stuff in here and this is one of them. Uh, I think the next three will be Belgium stuff or Belgium related. Uh, there, after a slew or, of demos, I could have easily picked the uh, sixth demo, but this is um, their first EP, if you will. Um, yeah, Tempest Through the Graves on Gramschap, limited to 300, my copy is 25. Uh, love that picture, love the EP. And I, there's a new rehearsal tape that came out with, with an even better, badass picture, but um, yeah, Forbidden Temple, Belgian Pride. And then again, on number two, uh, EP demo split, the Perverted Ceremony, it had to be in here last year. Number one was the Moonen uh, tape, now Perverted Ceremony, Witchcraft split. Uh, bought it for the perverted ceremony side. I am now also very much in love with the witchcraft side. Uh, very good, very good compar uh, yeah, comparison or a very, very good combination of two bands on uh, Nuclear War now, their new EP. And I'm hoping for a new full length by these guys, or actually, I'm hoping for some new Moonen material. I know Medieval Productions is doing uh, a new 7 inch or a split, I think, uh, so that's coming out. But after this one, there will be a most anticipated 2020, 2020. So, yeah, this had to be high up there. This is the Die Hard package for that one. And then, number one EP, and this is where I cheated a bit, uh, is the Blood Incantation Hidden History of the Human Race. Why an EP? Because it has four tracks on here. Uh, every time I put it on, I put it on Friday again when we had our New Year's party with the band. And uh, the, conclu the conclusion was it is very good, but it is, it is so short. It is so short. It made album of the year in the decibel top 2019. It is my, yeah, it could have been my number one, but it's just so fucking short. But yeah, it's beautiful. Stargate, Giza, Worship, Egypt, Planets, UFO, uh, Stargate, Research, it's all there. Everything you need for a album of the year is here, except for maybe one more, two more tracks. I don't know why it's so fucking short, but I'll stop nagging about that right about tomorrow when I get this back in. So yeah, that's the EP's demos splits for uh, 2019 cruising along nicely. Um, so let's delve into the full lengths. Uh, the first one is, like I said, another Belgian release because she is from Michigan now. She was originally from Belgium, but uh, Huldig with the Ophoping van de Middeleeuwse Duisternis on um, is it Lieve Mortis? Yes, on Lieve Mortis. Uh, missed, missed out on buying the demos, missed out on buying the rehearsal tapes, but then this compilation came with uh, everything on it. So I'm not sure if it's all material from 2019, but 2019 was the year old. Shown true from out of the darkness. Um, this is the... I got this straight from her. This is just, you know, fold over stuff like we are all used to by now. It comes with this patch. This is the... Uh, I asked her to make it full packages with all the stuff in there. Print it in her sleeve and then it came with this sick poster. One woman metal project, black metal project. Medieval sounding, the title kind of gives it away. Uh, yeah, this, I kept listening to this, this and the EP. If this was not in my top 10 albums or compilations, then uh, the EP or the new 7 inch would be in the. EP collection, but yeah, oh, very good stuff, very good black metal. Then into the dead metal album of the year, I guess. Um, it's kind of kind of obvious which one it would be. It's post humus humiliation by Pissgrave. 
on Profound Lore. When this came out, I al already knew this would be played to death. This has been talked to death in our uh, Wolves of the Hell group. Um, it has become a running gag. We talk about it so much. Uh, it's just putrid, nasty gore, death metal. Love how they just do black with the white. And then just one time pressing. I think maybe it's been repressed, I'm not sure, on black vinyl. It is like the Suicide Euphoria. It was the cover, the music, or, or the cover represented the music perfectly. Uh, it does it again with this. If you haven't heard it, which would be a surprise if you're watching this channel, but it is a surprise to me how stuff like this can be mainstream in our circles. But yeah, very good death metal records with some his scratch screaming vocals scratching the brain vocals uh, funerary presence funeral presence i'm sorry with akaitos those titles when it's not on the cover it's kind of hard to read funeral presence with akaitos um this came out a little earlier in the year i think this is the oldest one that is in here on simple pro voice and ajna offensive uh one man project uh, from blanking on it again I'm not going to get on it this is the drummer for um, oh fuck's sake never mind uh, very good one there are four tracks on here but very long tracks reaping time is near the fifth angel of destruction is here uh, very ambitious playing on this one comes with a printed inner sleeve Like I said, four very long tracks. I think about quarter, maybe 20 minute mark um, of runtime. I'm not sure it's on here. No, it's not on here. There are no times on here. Just a black pressing, like the um, the Pithgrave one. There is no color or anything like that. Just black, standard. It's good enough. Um, but yeah, a really good one in the number nine spot. These are all interchangeable I guess. I don't know. Um, then this beast Night's Threshold with Deep Within the Night. Uh, this came out on Temple of Wounds. Came out of nowhere for me a bit. Um, one of those covers from Temple of Wounds you just I don't know. I I spoke about it when this came out. When I see it coming up in a distro I just know it's I don't know, I just know it's Temple of Wounds, they don't do, they don't promote themselves or anything, it just pops up and it's gone. Uh, this one is semi-readily available, so if you're into it. Um, yeah, I listened to it again, it is, it stays up, it is um, a fantastic black metal, one man, I'm not sure if it's a band or a one man project. Um, it's not that there are much photos. It could be that this is number one and number two or two people, I'm really not sure. If you think black metal is just music, kill yourself. This is copy number 113. So yeah, maybe a duo, I'm not sure. Temple of Wounds uh, had some good releases this year, uh, once again. There is not much known about the label or the bands, just that he puts out good material that was mostly on Perverse Homage. I think this was a tape version first on Perverse Homage. Uh, yeah. Of course, I'll link everything, uh, or I'll provide links for everything for you to conveniently check it all out. Nice threshold. Then, I don't know where we are, but this monster, are we in the fives yet? No, this is number six. Um, this was bound to be in here. This is uh, Lingua Ignota with Caligula, uh, the only non black metal I think left in the top. It is abrasive, it is about um, domestic violence, maybe not but violence against uh, females or violence against her abuse and this is a uh, full frontal declaration against her abuser. Um, yeah I talked about it in, uh, in the video when I shown it. Um, I saw her live at Roadburn, I knew the new record was going to kill instantly. Uh, and it does. It is 
it has an industrial vibe, it has classic overtures, it has classical undertunes, uh, her voice goes from really brittle to maniacal. Um, it is a very good record. And another Profound War um, release. Gold. Everything is right about this um, about this thing. This is the clear version since I had the first album on clear. Um, not there are really nice pressings of this one, but I don't know. I just wanted it to be the same as the other one I have. So this is the crystal clear variant. Um, yeah, check this out. This is definitely not for everybody. Um, yeah, operatic maybe even uh, Caligula could be an opera, and I. Before she embarked on her European tour, I kind of suggested, not to her, but in this video, that she could do some more operatic, and she had something with banners, and I missed her on the second run, so she had something with cloths everywhere and stuff like that, playing with lights. So yeah, very cool, and I hope to see her again, maybe at Rome. Um, then, top five, yes sir, <coughs> Mirrors in Darkness from Serpent Column. Um, I picked this up on a whim in one of those Iron Boneheads multi-orders uh, because it was Mystic House, another label that came out of Fall Empire. I think so. It's the mix between Iceland and America, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, the cover doesn't speak too much. It's a bit of vulgar display of power with the fist. But this is the third full length, maybe, or the third release from this one-man project, and it is... It is something to behold. I uh, I talked about this in the December Vinyl Worship as one of the records that is mind blowing. The uh, intensity and the level of skill in his playing is uh, yeah is quite honestly amazing. So it really deserves a spot on here. It comes with a 18-page lyric booklet. If I'm not mistaken, 18 just pops in my head. But I have been delving into, or diving into lyric booklets for the December vinyl worship, so uh, here it is, Mirrors in the Darkness. It has extra artwork stuff and lyrics, so yeah, really cool release. And this is available, and if do yourself a favor, pick this up and listen to this a few times, because my god, it comes in and it comes in hard. Um, then the number four, I switched them last minute. Shit happens. Uh, Sulfuric Night with Forever Cursed. This could, the next four could easily be just number ones. Um, yeah, what can I say? An album that kept on playing or that, that I kept on repeat um, on Alter Productions and Black Gang Green. Um, Bosnia, Herzegovina, Dark Black Circle. Um, yeah, it, just for the right sound on this one, I. Uh, I am in love with it, so this will be forever cursed and forever on my record player. It has is been re-released on Nebula Carcoma, I think, on CD, or is it just Altar, I'm not sure, on CD and cassette, so pick up the cassette if you can find the record. Really good shit, one of his best um, to date, in my opinion. Then, the, there has to be some Zwarte uh, Dautus in here, so the uh, Kavikastar. Um, I'm not sure if I'm still butchering it. Garth Gaster with a slip throw requiem. Um, yeah, a bit of a super group, if you will, with uh, people from America, from Sweden, um, that I am a bit of in contact on Instagram with. Uh, yeah, just a. Yeah, it's maybe one of his most, and I'm talking about Svetlana Dautus, maybe one of his more. Um, ambitious records to date because there's a lot of lo-fi stuff in all his projects and this is definitely not lo-fi. Um, as you can see a three-sided, and that's the only thing I have against it, that should have an etching or something like that or screen print or whatever. Uh, is this on Profound Lore again? Again on Profound Lore, so they are having a year. Then number two and number one on number two it is uh, Cathartic Black Rituals by um, the logo is unreadable. Nocturnal Departure. Sorry that I blanked. Uh, Dead Cold Productions. I got this in quite recently in a uh, Unearthing Darkness, but this record is just shot up and 
shut up the list, not shut up, shut up the list and hasn't left since. So uh, this has everything, every black genre you want mixed into a, um, it is not overbearing, it is the perfect mix of all those things. Like I said, it reminded me of um, of the uh, bit of Hellhammer and stuff like that. So yeah, it is really good. Two guys, one girl from Canada, um, somewhere. And this, yeah, one of my favorite things to hear. There's a vinyl. One of my favorite things to hear this year. Um, so glad I got my hands on this. Thank you, DT, for providing such good shit. And then, if I getting this in the sleeve, I can't believe we'll, we're already true. Once again, journal or true. Good, good record. The number one for me uh, just recently got here, but I have it on tape for about four months, I guess. It never left the tape deck or the tape. I have two tape decks. Never left. Um, it is Skin, Stone, Blood, Bone by Yves What it does to me, I can't explain. It is so... It is raw in a different sense. It is raw in the sense that he is standing in a meadow butchering some animal for dinner. Um, with a self-made knife, uh, painted all in blood. I mean, the cover kind of speaks for itself. On Go to Warrix, I don't think I ever had a Go to Warrix on one, but here we go. Uh, the printed sleeves are a stroke of genius once more. It comes with this, I'll show the entire package since it's the last one. It comes with this Iron Fist poster from Go to Warrix, uh, promo poster. It even has the Sun. Sun and Steel poster from Komodas, which is another record that sadly did not make the list, but is you know also a fucking runner up. I have 7,000 runner ups. Uh, nice thick pressing of this um, beautiful monster of a record. And then there is no insert in here, it's just the cover with a tight little OV strip. And I have to get it a bit off because the front cover is cool, but the back cover is even cooler. Yeah, white metal from Canada, way high up northern Canada. Uh, it has something, or he has something to do with some um, native people's group. Uh, I don't know if he is uh, from that heritage, but um, it just keeps going. It is a mental record. Um, and like I said, it does something where I, I, yeah, does something to me that I even can't explain. It goes on a primal level that I uh, that I enjoy this shit. So yeah, definitely. And as you probably expect, it's my number one for this year. That's it. 2019 in the bag. Um, the only thing left for me to do is become a father again. I hope. When I go upstairs, I have my feet in a puddle of water, but. I don't think so. I probably will run on some more days. Um, guys, thank you very much. Um, as for 2019, the subs kind of went up. Um, yeah, well, what can I say? Thank you very much. I know in the grand scheme of things, there's a speck on the wall or a speck on a speck of blood on the wall of the uh, of life. But I like doing this shit, and I uh, I get some nice comments from all over the world, trays from all over the world, and you know friends from all over the world. Um, yeah, I could ramble off a list with, um, I made a list with thank you all the labels, but I mean, let's face it, this is a thank you to all the labels, so yeah, you know who you are and you know what I like. That's it. Cheers. Um, leave your top fives in the, in the section below. Most, more importantly, leave a, leave your top five and then leave a record that I didn't hear or didn't talk about. Maybe that you will think I like. Uh, that would be cool. You know, I don't have music uh, to listen to anymore. So, <sighs> more music, more music, more records, more records. I'll see you in 2020. 2020. Wait, Phil. Wait.